Okay, I'm going to talk to you now about trigger finger. So trigger finger is essentially caused when your flexor tendons, bend your fingers down like this, get slightly swollen. And they tend to do that overnight when they've got a few hours to swell when they're not being busy. Because the tendons tend to get squeezed a bit like a sponge and the juice goes out of them. So when they swell up and they're inflamed, they've been busy, they tend to just generally get swollen. And they can do that most easily where they're not constrained. So because you've got your carpal tunnel down here, which is a bunch of fibres holding the bones together around this arch of bones here. And the tendons, there are nine tendons, one to the thumb and two to each of the fingers. The tendons come through here and they share that space with the median nerve, which is why they, you get carpal tunnel syndrome if all your tendons are swollen. But in this section, the tendons can't easily swell because they're constrained within that tunnel. And then they go through a whole bunch of little hoops, pulleys as we call them, either side of every joint. And there are pulleys like this, either side of the joint to stop it bowstringing, as it would all the way down there like that, if they weren't held close to the joints by pulleys. Of course, what happens then is if your tendon gets a bit swollen, in this section here. It tends to do that overnight when we're in this sort of position. And then when you go to straighten your hand out in the morning, this section here has got a much more swollen section than the narrow section that needs to go through the tendon sheath. And that causes some trauma in this region here as you pull it through. It goes all the way through these tendon pulleys all the way down like this, right to the end. And this bit here, being very swollen like this, I'm exaggerating it now, jams as it goes through there. And gradually, if you do it quite a lot, it'll stop sticking because you'll squeeze the juice out of it and it'll start to run a little bit better. But first thing in the morning, it's often quite swollen here, and that little nodule, which you can feel if you press in there and you can move it up and down. If you've got trigger finger, you can feel that jamming. And that's why I liken it to a trumpet valve, which hasn't been oiled very well it just snags and catches a little bit as it goes through the tunnels it's too big to pass through the tunnel jams a little bit and then it traumatizes itself and sets up a vicious cycle of repeated trauma and that's why putting steroids in it shrinks the swelling down and stops that vicious cycle of uh, repeated entrapment and trauma ultimately if steroids don't control it of course we have to release this first pulley and bizarrely just releasing the first pulley seems to stop this condition from happening. It seems to work very well. But um, that's how trigger finger works. And in musicians, it's there's a particular variant of it. We, we talk about grade one triggering being where you can overcome it by just doing that. Grade two triggering is where you have to have your other hand and get it out like that. And grade three triggering is where it's stuck and you can't get it out at all. And there's a sort of new variant of grade three, which is grade four, where you can't pull it through because the nodules now got stuck on the opposite side of that tendon and will come back through. Interestingly, this moves about five centimeters in this area when you go from here to here. So that goes from here down to about there. There's a lot of movement in that tendon. Now, there's a grade half as well, which is the category that a lot of musicians come to see me about, where they just feel that every now and again, the finger doesn't move very well and it just snags a little bit and uh, just catches enough to make them fear that they're not going to perform well in a live performance and there could easily be a, a public performance disaster which people are very worried about. And so um, that's why people come to see me for small doses of steroid injections which seem to be pretty harmless and cause a very small flare and cause a quick improvement in those symptoms. It's a bit like oiling that trumpet valve that I was talking about because you'd be terrified if it got stuck during performance either the trumpet valve or your finger for that matter.